Hello everyone, this is Tim, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about using real-world mythologies and mythologies from books, novels, and movies, so forth, to make your setting different or unique or maybe even not so unique but uh, easy, to, uh, easy to work on. So if you have a setting that you're making from scratch, you can make a culture use the Egyptian gods and another culture use Greek gods and Roman gods, Norse gods, etc. Native American deities, spirits, animism, that kind of stuff. So there's lots of options out there for what to do, uh, what kind of flavor you want to have in your setting. And I also kind of thought about something else as well. If you wanted to incorporate the Force from Star Wars into a fantasy setting, I guess it was kind of done with uh, Robert Jordan and the Wheel of Time in some respects with this, you know, like the yin and yang, uh, that sort of thing, you know, dark side, light side. But what's nice about making your own setting is that you really just pick and choose whatever you want. Maybe there's some published setting out there that you like certain deities from it, and there's another published setting that's like, oh, well, that deity's cool. There's nothing stopping you from picking and choosing uh, different gods, plum, you know, plunging them together into one pantheon for one culture, and just going with that. Another idea, too, is to have really one pantheon that rules the world and the various cultures worship each of the deities in their own way so that they're slightly different in flavor uh, there's different traditions that have sprung up um, you know especially if there's a lot of time that has passed there could be uh, you know maybe the elves over here worship the same god as the dwarves do but they just focus on different elements that mean more to their culture but yeah really just think about all the cultures in all the settings you can think of and just try to think of the ones that you like the best uh, you know pick and choose whatever you think fits and as a result of that you need to think of the consequences you know what kind of culture would exist that you know worshipped uh, Baal or worshipped um, you know Horus or all these various other deities and what they you know bring to the table you can actually use the cultures themselves that these deities are based on or you can just you maybe just completely ignore those and just take the god as is at face value and smash them into other deities. Another thing that's cool to think about with uh, with gods is how they interrelate to one another. Are they, you know, has there been like some divine breeding? Like, are you know, does this god sleep with this god and spews out this other deity that's maybe lesser in stature or has a different uh, domain to it, different portfolio perhaps? There's lots of thoughts you can have here sort of rambling here a little bit, so I'll try to get to the point. What I'm trying to say is that everything that's out there is available and you shouldn't be afraid to incorporate it into a setting, especially if it's things you haven't seen done before. Maybe you have never seen an Egyptian god uh, represented in an RPG, so maybe you want to do that. Everything out there should be uh, available, free, and uh, you know, five-finger discount it, shove it in your setting, and see what the players think of it. That's pretty much it, guys. All right, I have to get ready for work, so I'm going to do this real quick. Thanks for watching, and uh, maybe make suggestions down below for uh, what kind of combinations of gods or uh, religions or pantheons that you would like to smash into your own setting. I'd like to hear what thoughts you have as far as that goes. Okay, thanks.